A number of B.C. mega projects hang in the balance now that the NDP and Green Party have come to an agreement, but that isn't stopping Kinder Morgan from moving ahead with a major project. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more details. So Haley, what is the company doing? Kinder Morgan is going ahead with its planned initial public offering on the Toronto Stock Exchange. That's expected today. It's going ahead despite political uncertainty, as you mentioned, and also despite a lower share price. The company was marketing this during the course of the provincial election. They were looking at a share price of $19 to $22. It's going to come in at $17 per share, and it's per share of a newly formed company that essentially bundles together some of Kinder Morgan's Canadian assets of course, including the BC Trans Mountain expansion project in the Trans Mountain pipeline. Now, it will be $17 per share, as I said, and the company's hoping, hoping for an IPO of $1.75 billion. This would make it one of the largest IPOs in Canadian history. The proceeds of this IPO will go to fund the Trans Mountain expansion project. The company seems pretty certain that it's going to move forward. Of course, it has received regulatory approvals, but we also know the BC NDP and BC Greens have made it clear that they're against this project. Any uncertainty, even stalling the project or a move to try and stop it, could of course have an impact on share price. It's important too to note that foreign investors slightly removed from the local controversy here might see this as a good investment because the project is bundled together with other less controversial assets. So this is definitely going to be a stock to watch as even in the days ahead we learn more about BC's political future. Chipotle, uh, switching gears now, is dealing with uh, another crisis on their hands. Uh, this after a recent one involving food safety, but this one involving people's personal information. That's right. Hackers have stolen quite an, uh, an amount of customer data from customers who frequented Chipotle locations between late March, mid-April. Unfortunately, it's affected most of Chipotle's more than 2,200 locations, including some in Canada. The malware on the point-of-sale machines was able to take away cardholder names, card numbers, the expiry date, as well as the identification number, enough to duplicate a credit card or even potentially drain a debit card account. So quite a serious situation for Chipotle, who just last quarter was able to see a positive return for its sales after the food safety issues. I'm sure this is going to hit them too. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver joining us today. Thanks, Haley. Thank you.